So, context. So I have to answer the following questions. Where did you get your idea? Well, my idea is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Uh, I was going to actually make it as a YouTube video first, and it's something that I had been toying around with making as like a video vlog thing for my YouTube channel, and then basically they revealed the theme was changed, and I was like, I already have an idea queued up that I've already done some work towards. Why don't I just use that? So that was pretty good good. Um, originally, of course, I was going to be talking about the Brony fandom, and then it just evolved from there, because originally that was the YouTube video, and it just evolved from there to, like, a video about Disney and stuff. What did I want to explore? Well, with the FMP, I wanted to try and explore themes of racism, homophobia, and stuff like that. Just try and get, like, a video out that it kind of explained why I think animation is so important because I'm a big fan of animation it's a big part of my life so that kind of explained what I wanted to explore just why animation changed and why that's a good thing one of my personal points of view oh on, on my film I presume well I'm not the biggest fan of my film. I think it's alright. It's pretty good. And I wanted to do more with the concept, but I ran out of time. So I'll probably do it again uh, on my YouTube channel and then be happy with that version. But apart from that, yeah, it's alright. What are my professional views? I think people, like I've seen, who I've shown it to, quite a lot of the people liked it, so I presume it's okay. But, again, I personally am not a fan of it. So, is there a topic? Yes, the topic is change in animation narratives. E. So, yes, there is a topic. Is there an issue you want to address? Yes, I want to address that narrative has changed in animation. And how that's a good thing. What research did you carry out? Okay, so basically I went on Google and like looked up just things that backed me up. Watched a lot of Disney movies, like a lot of Disney movies to try and figure this stuff out. And that was pretty much it. Did you look at certain films and what were they? Yes, I did. I had to look at the following films and TV shows. I had to look at I mean, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. I love Aladdin. Um, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. I'm trying to think what else. The Little Mermaid, which I still haven't actually got around to watching. I don't know, I'm trying to think. Zootopia, Inside Out, Finding Dory, and then TV shows, it was Steven Universe, Avenger Time, MLP, and that was about it. So going on to the next question. Did you look at the works of certain film directors or maybe partners? Lauren Faust and Craig McCracken. Oh yeah, and also Powerpuff Girls for that last question. Because my mind went a blank. My partners photographs. What are your influences? Uh, the video Weird is the New Brilliant by Doug Walker from Channel Awesome. Um, pretty much anything done by Cell Specs. Disney movies in general. My love of animation and animation fandoms.
I'm trying to find the next bit. Are there any approaches to editing film, narrative, sets, props, sound, music you feel it attracted to? Well, in general, <laughs> uh, I like the Sam Raimi method of editing where it's just all really quick cuts. I like that. I like the typical Edgar Wright comedy one. Music, I always think it's good to have music that juxtaposes oppose, the scene. Uh, so you have a sad scene of happy music or something along those lines. Um, obviously, music as well, dubstep, uh, classical sixties, uh, classical music, sixties pop, slash like swing music, sixties uh, love songs. It's, this feels more like it's asking about me than anything else. Are there any amazing connections on your film? I don't know what that question means. Are there any finalizing comments? I'm not sure what that question said, so I'm not going to answer it. What genre is your film? Documentary. Who is your audience? The animation community of YouTube. Is there any narrative filming associated with your film? Yes. Basic free act structure, Disney Renaissance era, typical fairy tale narrative. Many methods and tools you were using secondary footage slash archive footage. I guess that's it. And importantly, what are your aims and ambitions with this project? To get people informed that animation is important in the today's community and it's an important art form which is often overlooked by mainstream society in general. And what skills have you challenged? My skills in editing, socializing with people, talking to people, making people help me with stuff, dealing with my disability, editing, lighting, sound design, filming, pretty much everything. And that's it. Oh, that's a long video. There we go.